very easy to do. Now, I think they have a, how, yeah, I'm that? sorry. Depending on how long it's been since he's taken the seven, where he got the basic option strategies, if it's been a while, then I would probably. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you got to do a little bit of oh, the hedges, yeah. the spreads, and straddles. Just yeah, you got to definitely got to know that. Uh, the other thing I would say is make sure that you understand it's a different flavor. What I mean by different flavor is, as a supervisor, I love a credit spread. I love a credit spread. And here, here's why, Jamal. I'll just give you an example. Uh, let me just punch up here uh, Apple, for example. Um, let me put a little B here. Uh, so Apple right now, Jamal, let's call it uh, the stock is, um, let's call it 150. So if you were going to write a naked 150 call, uh, I'm going to ask you for 20% of the market value. So let's say you're doing 10 contracts. That would be $150,000 in market value. Now I'm going to ask you for a margin of 30,000, 20%, uh, plus the current premium. So let's say the premium is nine. So 10 contracts, and that's 9,000. So now we're at 39,000. Uh, I'm going to ask you to, uh, you can subtract from that, Jamel, the amount the contract's out of the money on the assumption that you know you're not going to have to perform. So in that situation, to write a naked call on Apple at 150, 10 contracts with Apple at 150, premium nine, the margin is 39,000. So I say, Jamel, why in the hell would you want to do that? Why don't you just take part of your nine and buy a 160 call for two? So, you know, that's going to be $2,000. So, now you're out seven thousand dollars. You're actually you brought in seven, but you know instead of nine. But now I'm just going to ask you for the three thousand dollars, right? What you can lose in the spread. So it just makes that whole margin requirement just go poof, right? So we just love credit spreads. We don't really care at all about debit spreads. Uh, again, we don't care there because as again, super different flavor on the four. And by the way, if you're a nine, same thing. We don't care because it's pretty easy on a debit spread or any kind of a debit position call straddle. Is this money you can afford to lose? Period. Full stop. End of compliance. Right. So uh, that's what I would just tell you. Make sure you're paying attention to the flavor of things. One last thing I would add to that: the minimum maintenance on that position on Apple at all times is going to be 10% of the market value plus the current premium. I think that makes sense because that current premium means we can do the closing transaction. I can close, do the closing purchase to you know close you out if something kind of goes south. So that's minimum maintenance. Um, and that's the kind of flavor you kind of want to be paying attention to. And if you really get stuck, Brian and I both believe in a T. And one of the reasons I believe in a T so strongly, contract specifications. Do, do you know a short put is an obligation to buy the stock? And then can you track money? If you get some outrageous kind of position, Jamel, on the Series 4, there's nothing that a T can't drain the swamp in. But I mean, if you get something you're not quite sure, is what is the hell is this thing I'm looking at? If you get your T... And you simply go through and plug in, in and out. And then the numbers they offer you, you can plug back into the D, assuming you know Brian's point calls and in the money and that kind of thing. And you can just try a trial, trial and error until you get the number that is the break even or whatever it is they're asking. So anyways, that's my commentary for 